All right, good morning. We're in the shop. I'm stalling. Got a wagon of hay to put into the side barn for sale. Um, I already put one wagon away, and I'm working, getting ready to work on the second one. It's just, it's hot. It's miserable. It's hot, Ohio. Ohio sucks. Um, at least for weather. So, doing a quick 2024 um, cornfield scouting. This is uh, no way official um official uh, what do we call it bushels per acre prediction we, we, i didn't go through the blue book and use use the formula i was just seeing what i've got there um i just drove the four-wheeler up to the corn and she's got an itch drove the four-wheeler up to the corn walked in at, at decent decent spot and said this is a good ear that is um, uh, typical for what I'm seeing walking in 20 feet and I pulled three ears off three rows planted 32,200 um, and and we did the the girth and the length count so counted from the bottom of the line to the top dot there's a couple I don't count there's a scientific way to do this and this is that's pretty close so my ears were uh, 34 long by 18 around 32 long by 14 around 36 around or, or long by 16 around um, this is my first field that we planted this is plant field corn was planted on May 2. I've already got milk line, quite a bit actually. I've got denting already. And anybody that's played with played with corn um, knows what it, what an ear of corn's supposed to feel like. I've still got the husk on it. So I've I've got that that weight off of it. These ears feel light, like really light. Um, I believe it's 56, bu 50, 56 pounds per bushel uh, of shelled corn the corn's supposed to weigh. Um, it doesn't, they all feel light. They're, they, it doesn't have that weight, that clunky weight to, to the ears. And these are nice ears. Um, so uh, USDA is predicting, I think Ohio is supposed to have like 184 bushels to the acre on corn. Uh, guys below 70 and east during Ohio are saying they, it's, this is far fetched. Um, they don't, they don't believe it's happening. This is my 23 number. This is, uh, with, with through the, through the crop insurance agency, the lady that comes out and measures our bins, that says 2020-23, I had official results of 176 bushels to the acre. Um, I don't know. I, I at, at best, that is as good as it gets, I think. Um, I don't know. The corn feels like it's 168 bushels to the acre, but the ear... But the kernels, the cob, the whole cob, feels light, really light, and I don't know what it is. If it, if it's a smaller diameter cob that I, that I'm looking at, I, I don't know what it is. It, it's something something. It just doesn't feel right. So I'm kind of expecting low test weights this year. So instead of 56 pounds, maybe you get I don't know 55 or and or 54, and I don't know exactly where the spreadsheet. Uh, deductions come in and later on I'll do an official um, estimate of what the corn yield is supposed to be measure going going through measuring off uh, seven, 17 feet six inches and you got to pull I think it's every fifth ear and then you got to figure out how many ears are on the stock now I will say um, this every every one of the stocks that I pulled one off of here 
they had a double ear. I did not go down and look at the second ear because as of like five years ago, they were breeding that as a bad trait. And I'm sure there's some kernels on it. I just didn't look to see um, what was there. I, I don't care about that one. I care about the main one. So as of right now, I, I think these are, I think it's, I think it's good corn. I just don't think it's this, I don't think it's a bumper crop. And this is Northwest central Ohio, just Northwest of Columbus. Okay. We're, we're not far way, way Northwest, like towards the border or towards, um, Lake Erie. This is Union County. This is, uh, so this, this, this background story on this field was, it was in hay clover uh, for 20 years maybe it's close enough field we can bale hay and haul manure on it I didn't do a soil sample but my phosphorus and potash should be through the roof on it um, the last soil samples I did that had a similar field my agronomist said um, yeah you can go two years without putting any potash down and not even supplement and we did supplement on this field here uh, I think it was 50 pounds potash and 115 pounds urea. And I think they said 50 parts 28. So that, if, so your nitrogen is, they basically say a bushel per pound of nitrogen or whatever. So 115 plus 50 is uh, 165 is what they're, what they're saying. I don't know if I can pull it, it, it just it just depends this is a nice it was a nice field when I was working the for the field down uh, last year was soybeans year before it was hay so we took a first cutting hay off it last year then did soybeans uh, soybeans weren't great on this field but it was good uh, for for uninsured soybeans I think it was uninsured because I took a crop off I can't remember um, it, it did it, it paid the bills so um, this would have been the first year of corn, and the soil. When I was working it, working it, we always we always fantasize about. Oh, I wish I had black soil. Um, this soil was black, and and it's not because we were river bottom. This was that much humus is built up in 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 the soil from the years of hauling manure, and it was in between railroad tracks and a, a, a I'm gonna call it like a ditch, like a wet ditch. And like it, it almost like it could have been river bottom, but it was actually topsoil that I had built up over the years. And the only reason I took it out of hay was because I needed to get some more crop rotation in, and I had records of uh, the hay field and my going back several years, and my hay bale um, count was was falling. So I figured something was getting locked up in there somewhere, and it was just time to. Um, start over with with news with something different in there. R rotate some corn and beans around through there a couple years, and then um, start some hay some other places. Because when a hay field starts deteriorating, and and you can't uh, say, hey, I'm going to get uh, so many the said said number of bales off there repeatedly, but you're seeing it drop 20 bales a year. It's it's time to rotate it out. So we'll we'll play around with uh, other numbers later. But that's that's my count. That's what we're, we're looking at. I looked at soybeans yet uh, last week, and I counted 76 bloom um, blooms and bloom buds possibly. And um, yesterday I went out and just pulled a random plant, came up with 55 pots. So 10 to 20 percent of your uh, bloom bud possibilities abort, and. Um, you, that's when you come up with the real number. There, there's there's the possibility of having 76 bushels. It's not going to be 76. It's going to be, uh, I believe it was 67 was last year. Uh, 65 or 67 was our official average, I think. Uh, I didn't write that down. And USDA is saying Ohio is going to have 70. The guys I'm talking to online say, yeah, that's not happening. So you guys have a blessed day.